What's up, y'all? Good afternoon. How's everybody doing out here today? The, the, <laughs> the shocking truth about addiction. The shocking truth about addiction. I like a little tongue twister, huh? The shocking truth about addiction. Give me a second. Let's get some people on here. Let's get some people on here. What's up? How's everybody doing out here? So anything can be an addiction, man. And the reason why people fall into addiction sometimes is because it's something that they went through. It's um, it's pain. It's usually just pain. It's always pain. And they can't ever break the addiction because they don't have they don't believe in themselves. You know, sometimes they're trying to hide from who they are and stuff like that. So they're trying to hide. So they're trying to hide their identity. They're trying to. And then another thing is just it's good. Right. So. The shocking truth about addiction. So today we're talking about mainly about sugar addiction. Now, sugar is as, as strong and as, as it's right there with cocaine, you know, right there with cocaine and people. They don't realize it. They always taking sugar in, take sugar and sugar in from if it's from soda waters, if it's from, from desserts, whatever it's from. People are constantly taking that sugar in. And what is sugar doing to you? Sugar is hurting you. Sugar is destroying you. Right? It's tearing you up. And people, they don't they don't get it. They don't get it cuz it's an addiction. So they always have to always have to have sugar. Always. And then you got some people say, "You know what? I don't eat sugar. I don't like donuts. I don't like the sugary stuff, but sugar is in everything. Sugar is in everything. It's in bread. It's in pasta. Uh, it's in all the desserts and all the processed foods. It's, it's, it's in everything. Now, there's another addiction, smoking. So I had a friend of mine that smoked all the time, right? And her uncle would smoke all the time. He died. He died smoking, like, because he had his... Everything was messed up. I can't think of the name, but he would cough and he, I mean, he had asthma and he would smoke, right? So it was crazy. But she was telling me, man, free, I, I don't know how to break this addiction, right? And I said, well, I had to look more into it. So I want to make sure I give her the right answers, right? And that, honestly, I can't give you all the right answers. The one that gives the answers is God. He's the one that gives you the right answers. And sometimes we just don't listen to him. We don't see, we don't see the answers out there. If you know that you're coughing out a lung and you still want to smoke, something's wrong. Something's wrong. If you ever look, if you ever look at a picture, and I should have posted up a picture right now, but if you ever look at a picture with someone that's been smoking for years, how their lung looks. Oh my God. When they show you all that that it's all black and everything, that that's true. It looks worse than that, you know. So, again, every anything could be an addiction, right? Some people have porn addictions. Some people have, um, you know, bad addictions. Some people just have a terrible attitude addiction. You know, they're 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 just they love being in a bad mood all the time. You know, and it, it's considered an addiction because you're constantly in a bad mood. You can say, hey, why don't you smile? But you're in a bad mood, you know. You got people out there that always think bad about everything. They're negative, so they they got a negative addiction. So they're like negative all the time. There can't no be there can't be no light nowhere out of a situation because they see everything so negative. Hey, sit, oh, so we got the name. We can see the names better now. So we shout out to Tiffany. Shout out to uh, Iana. Shout out to Patricia. Shout out to B, uh, Debbie. Shout out to all y'all. Appreciate y'all. So I guess something's new. On TikTok, but shout out to all y'all. Appreciate y'all being on here, and please share my video. And we're gonna get some more people right now. If you're on my Facebook, make sure you hit my video. Come in my video. I can see that you're you're almost in my video. So just come on my video so I can see all your comments on my on my my Mac. I can see all your comments on my Mac. So if you're new to my show, well, my show is always about helping people with their health, right? So I'm a keto coach, I'm intimate fasting coach. And uh, I came from dropping 98 pounds. I came from having so many health problems. I came from having, uh, the last thing I had was type 2 diabetes. 
And um, Lydia, I, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to do a video, babe. So my my son's being a little loud, but um, I came from having the last thing I came from having type two diabetes. I had high blood pressure for many years. I had asthma where I had to uh, put myself to sleep sitting down. Um, digestive problems, uh, some anxiety, depression. I had a lot of stuff wrong with me. And today I don't, I'm great. I'm amazing, right? I don't have these problems no more. But I had to find out what was, it, what was doing it to me, right? And what was doing it to me was me. You know, we all pick up an addiction. We picked up, I had a sugar addiction. Like everything, I would drink soda, soda after soda after soda and and cereals with extra sugar. And and I mean, I remember I used to buy Frosted Flakes and then put tons of more sugar in it, you know. And um, we just we just tear our body up. We tear our body up and we don't treat our body right. Right. We don't. So one of the things to beat addiction. Is you have to love yourself and you got to know that other people love you. You got to know that God loves you because the thing about it is that we fall into addiction because we're trying to find an escape place. Right. It don't it doesn't matter what it is that you're, you're trying to, you know, what addiction you fall into, but you're trying to find an escape place. Why do you think alcoholics get drunk? Because they want to get away from all the pain they have. You know what happens to people that smoke cigarettes? They're nervous. They're nervous. They try to calm themselves down. They they have that nicotine uh, um, effect. Right. Nicotine. And the thing is, how does it start? And you can't tell me you can't break. A, you can't break an addiction because I know you can, it, it, you know, and you could break a habit. You could break addictions. You could break anything because I did. You know, I smoked for a lot of years. I, I used to always have to smoke when I drank all the time. I drank. I used to have to smoke all the time. And I don't do that no longer. I don't do that no longer. Right. And then. And I'm not going to put it out there like this, but I'm going to tell you. So I'm about health. Right. And. I'm going to tell you this. You're better off smoking. A green cigarette than a regular cigarette. And I'll leave it at that. Right. Because it's natural. Right. So and it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. They use it for medicine. And it's amazing, right? It's not going to hurt you. So people have addiction. People always want to smoke. You know, one thing I can't stand, and I, and I don't want to offend nobody because I'm not trying to offend nobody. And it's, it's just that I can't stand, right? So I can't stand when a female just pulls out a cigarette, right? I, you told me what was one of my peas about, you know, about women, like what I don't like about women. When they pull out a cigarette, right? It's, I just don't like it. And it's not, I don't like it because I don't like it. I don't like it because I'm like, man, why are they doing their body like that? Some women are beautiful. Some women got nice bodies and everything, and they pull out that cigarette. They got to have that cigarette every day. So I'm not here to judge you because that's not what my show's about. My show's here to help you. And then think about all the money, all the money people spend in addictions. All the money. You spend tons of money in addiction right you take away tons of time from yourself i always say if something's not gonna better you and help you then stay away from it you know if something's not gonna help you grow then stay away from it you know we got friends all of all of, all the time around our friends is sometimes what makes us do things it's crazy but we we'll see our friends pull out a cigarette Guess what? It's time for us to pull out a cigarette. Even if we've forgotten, even we've forgotten, you know what? I'm not going to smoke a cigarette and stuff like that. And what else do cigarettes do? Cigarettes make your teeth ugly. You get nasty looking teeth, right? So right now, if you know someone that's going through an addiction, rather, I mean, it could be crack. It could be cocaine. It could be porn. It could be anything that can be an addiction. Whatever it is, it could be just food. Tag them on my videos or, or, or go to my YouTube because this goes to my YouTube. So my YouTube is Keto is Live TV. Keto is Live TV. 
Guys, I constantly do these shows all the time so I can help people to put them at a better place. Now, if you told me you have no problem with smoking and if you told me that you never thought about quitting, you'll be lying to me. Right. I don't know everyone, but I know you'll be lying to me because who would want to do that every day and do that to themselves? Right. You tell a, you tell an alcoholic, hey, you know what? Would you would you rather stop? Do, do, he, you, you know, when you ask an alcoholic. If you could change it, would you change? They'll tell you, yes, they would change. They'll cry to you and tell you, yes, I would change. I seen it. I seen it. I have family. I have family members, friends. Of, they're like family members that died from from alcohol. You know, from alcohol at a young age. You know. So, addiction is one of the things that you could break, but you got to be strong. You got to understand that it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard. Like I always, tell, always challenge people and tell people, you know what? I challenge you to delete sugar out your life. Delete sugar out your life. I challenge you. And I tell you, the first week, you're going to feel like you're sick. You're going to feel lightheaded. You're going to feel like you got to throw up. You're going to feel terrible. But remember, it's an addiction. It's an addiction. It's, the addiction is so strong, it's like cocaine from what they say. You know, that's a strong addiction. You know, so you have to break that addiction. And you can do it. And I tell people, okay, so the first week when you're deleting sugar out your life, you're going to feel sick. The second week, it's more of a denial stage. You're like, man, I don't even know why I'm listening to free. He's not a doctor. You know, I, I don't understand why I'm listening to him, you know. But I tell you because I know, because I really do know, you know. I've seen people when I, I was teaching this girl, I was coaching this girl, and she was doing the keto lifestyle. She was doing really amazingly. And I told her, I said, uh, no, we were talking. I said, hey, so how are you doing? She goes, I'm doing fine. I just wish I could stop smoking. And then I said, you know what? You can. You can. Look how far you've came. Look how, look what you did. Look how much weight you lost. You can. You could do anything you set your mind to. You can do anything, you know. And so she's not smoking any longer, which is awesome, which is awesome. So and then my mom, my mom used to smoke. My mom smoked for 20 something years, almost probably longer than that. And I told my mom, I, I said, Mom, I said, why'd you stop smoking, Mom? She goes, because I knew it was never good for me. So I knew eventually I had to give it up. But I prayed every day about it. See, guys, breaking addictions is not just going to happen overnight. You know, you got to have a lot of a lot of strength from God, a lot of strength from God. Now, I'm not going to throw nobody's name out there, but I used to have a friend that was on ice real bad ice. Right. Ice is just as, as bad as cocaine or as crack or worse than crack. Right. But he was on ice. And. um I remember I, I talked to him. I never knew. I talked to him. He says, man, we were just having a talk one time. He goes, hey, man, you know what, Free? I, he says, man, I see your shows and everything. He says, I used to be addicted to ice. And it just blew my mind. Like, ice? For real? You? You know? He said, oh, man, yeah, I used to sell stuff. He said, I did whatever I had to do. He said, I'm even embarrassing, embarrassed to tell you what I did, right, to other males, right? Now, the thing is, he he got saved. He gave himself to God. And I remember him telling me that the one time he was going to go over there and get some ice, he was going over there. And he he wanted to he didn't want to do it no longer. He that was it. He didn't want to do it no longer at all. So he told God, he said, God, please, please help me break this addiction. Whatever I have to do, I'll do it. Please help me break this addiction. Well, if I ever get his permission, I would love to have him on my show. Because he's a new person. And he overcome that addiction. So, whether it's ice, whether it's crack, whether it's sugar, whether whatever it could be. You can overcome that. You can beat that. 
You can beat that. I promise you, you can beat that. You know, right here, what I you see right here, I said, God made all of us with greatness. God made all of us with greatness because he did. You think he wants to see us in an, addi an addiction? You think he wants to see us killing ourselves? You know, you might not think that sugar sugar's bad for you, but it is. Sugar is the worst. Is the worst. Why? Because it's good. Why? Because they 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 hide it real good. You could pick something up and it won't even show a, a word. You're not familiar with the word. And I can and I can help you on that. I can coach you on that and show you, hey, you know what? This is bad. This means sugar. Right. Because there's a lot of words that you see on there that you might think, hey, there's no sugar in this, but there's sugar in it. You know, I fell in love with the keto lifestyle because that's one biggest thing they do. They delete sugar out your life. And a lot of people, they they you know, I, I hear people all the time and they say, free man, you know, I got I got some people that get stuck. And I say, well, what are you doing? Oh, you know what? I didn't want to tell you, but I'm having a cheat day. You know, I always say, man, you know what? You work too hard to have a cheat day. You work too hard. You know, look at it this way. You're married, right? Say you're married. Say you got a boyfriend or you got a girlfriend, right? And you're in a relationship. And you decide, you know what? I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I know it might be different for you because it's, it's more, you know, different. But just say you, I might cheat a little bit. So then you cheat a little bit. So then you get caught up just for just because you're being nice out there, right? And now you gotta argue, you gotta start all over and everything. And that's the same thing with keto. Because keto, you're like, I'm trying to use a better a better metaphor, but the keto, like, you've been working so hard, right? I don't understand why people cheat. First of all, you got people out here, and, and as a matter of fact, I was I was talking to somebody not too long ago, and they're pushing packages and packages of, of prove it and all kinds of supplements and telling you here take this and if you take this you can eat anything you want you don't even have to be on keto you take this and guess what you drop all the weight that's a lie that's a big lie you know i was a, a promoter and a, and, and a um, provider for prove it and i i they i can't say i quit but i did but they were mad they were mad because I remember one time I was doing a show and this girl says, hey, free, did you drop all that weight from prove it? And, you know, you got to understand something. I, I'm, I'm starting to tell people prove it's good because I'm not going to say it's not good. It's good. But I'm not going to lie to people. So I said, hell no, definitely not. Definitely not. You know, so they sent me an ugly email and stuff like that. Anyway, so I didn't want to be part of that. And then when I came out with my natural herbal tea. They didn't like that. They didn't like that. So you know what? I, I just ain't going to deal with people like that. I'm not. So if you tell me free, does keto put you on ketosis? I mean, does, does keto does. But I'm saying do prove it or any keto product puts you on ketosis. From products that I know from that one, no. No. You still have to work hard. You still have to work hard. They say, well, you know what, free? I, I, I got on the... The, the 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 strips I got on my strips and you know what it shows that I'm on ketosis those things ain't they're not even 85 percent accurate you know and so still if you work hard on yourself and you do the keto lifestyle right you're gonna love yourself you're gonna you're gonna be in, in a different place you're not gonna your stomach is not gonna be running you no more your mind is you know, keto's keto, right? But the main part is to learn how to eat. You need to learn how to eat. And I know it's kind of confusing because you tell people, well, you can have brown rice, you can have white rice, you can have this rice. You can't have no rice, you know? And if you say free, are you strict? I, I don't find myself being strict. For, first of all, I'm keto adapted already. But I do see myself like, why am I going to go eat? this tortilla when I can eat a low carb tortilla or why am I going to go eat this pasta when I can make my pasta this way I know it's good matter of fact I got a cookbook coming out hopefully everyone picks it up my cookbook's coming out we're shooting it right matter of fact right now my wife's working on the cookbook right now 
She's working on it right now. And we're shooting it for December. We're shooting it for around Christmas time. So it's just what you put into it. But I know when I was talking about addiction, I know that I was probably going to make some people mad. They're probably going to get mad, especially when I said, hey, I, I can't stand women that smoke. You know, I can't. Um, If I was single, that'd be a turnoff for me. Straight up turn off if that if I was single. But I'm not single. I got a beautiful wife, and thank God she don't smoke. Right? And if she did, we'll break that habit. We'll break that addiction quick. So, and it's the same thing with seeing guys smoke. Same thing. I, it's not like I got a different feeling because of a girl. It's, it's the same thing with guys when guys smoke. Why? Why? And a lot of times they smoke because they're trying, they're, they're trying to relax themselves. They're going through so much stress. How many times you see somebody pull out a cigarette because they're going through stress? All the time. You know, when people, when, what, what, do you hear, what do you hear all the time when people say, when they're at work or something like that, you know what? Man, I need a drink. I need a drink. No, what you need to do is you need a new job. You need a new job. You need to know that God made you with greatness and you need to learn everything from that job and go open your own business. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do. You know, not too long ago, um, I got some new uh, appliances and I had somebody come over here and he had his company, right? But he was asking some questions. So I figured, you know what? Um, let me let me f answer his questions. And I asked him, I said, hey man, how long have you had your business? He said, oh man, about going on two years and I said, oh, cool, man. I said, you know, what made you get into business? He goes, oh, I was working for people. And I said, man, you know what? I can do this. And I said, man, that's awesome. I was like, man, that's awesome. Because if people would think this way, they wouldn't have to worry about the COVID going on. You know, they might close us down again, you know. And they would know that how to make extra income. And then you're probably saying, free, this show's going everywhere. But you know what? Hey, if it comes to my head, I'm going to share it with y'all. While it's in my head right now. So um, shout out to my wife. My wife's on here joining me on Facebook right now. Shout out to her. Appreciate it. Man, she don't know, understand how. She knows how much I appreciate her. She knows. She can hear me right now. Uh, I'm in my office and she's like in the living room. Maybe, she, maybe she's in her room now. But um, so the shocking truth about addiction. How do you beat addiction? First of all, you got to believe in yourself. First of all, you got to have faith. You got to have tons of faith and you could break the addiction. I know you can understand that you're better than them cigarettes. Understand that you're better than that alcohol. Understand that you're better than all this, you know. And if I told you, hey, I, I don't never have drinks, I'll be lying to you. But it's not an addiction. You know, there's times where. I'll drink a little bit crown because, you know, I still ain't going to cheat when I'm doing when I'm when I'm doing some drinking. I'm going to drink crown. And I got a matter of fact, I got a page on my cookbook coming out with drinks you can have and how you can put them together. And they are so awesome because they're all keto. Right. So I drink some crown and I drink oh, I drink some crown and I drink some club soda or crown on, on, on the rocks. Right. Very little bit. very Because that's all you need when you're doing keto. All you need is very little bit because you're going to get a buzz. Right. And I'm not trying to get drunk. And it's not an addiction. It's not an addiction. So you're in control. You are in control. You know, like Les Brown says, it's you. You're the one that's running everything. You. Right? When, when we fall into people that are around us that are negative and they make things, you know, how many times, like right now, if somebody told you, you cannot do it. Oh, I don't think you can do it. You hear this once or twice and you have to hear 16 or 17 more times that you can do it to want to do it. Why is that? Because the negativity has a bigger impact, right? From what you see, because the that's the way you were raised up. Your family says, no, no, puede hacerlo. you can't do this. You can't do this. Right. So as soon as they tell you a negative comments, you give up. You know, how do you think your dreams are going to happen? Your dreams are going to happen when you learn how to have it, stop having so much fear. When you learn that fear is a process, it's the it's the progress, it's the process of 
becoming who you want to become. Failing. People like they're scared because they're scared to fall down. Well, if you fall down, it's a new beginning. Sometimes we have to fall four or five times to become who we want to become. But you can do it. I did it. I did it. Look, I, I, I got my own show. I got my own show. Thanks to everybody on TikTok. I'm almost at 22, 23,000 that follow me. I got my own cookbook coming out. You know, I got an amazing family. I'm at a better place. I, I'm okay. I, I, my stomach ain't over here. My stomach used to hold me right here. It used, to, it used to stop me right here. I could never swing into like this, right? My stomach would stop me way over here. My stomach would stop me way over here. That's where my stomach was. Oh, shit. That's where my stomach would stop me, right? And, and now I don't have that problem no more whatsoever. I used to get headaches every day waking up. Every day. Why? Because I had the addiction. I had the addiction to for sugar. Sugar. Sugar used to run me. Sugar used to keep me in the restroom crying because I was in so much pain. Sugar used to keep me going to the doctors, to the hospitals, owing them money. I'm barely getting my credit where I wanted to be at. Just barely. Well, three and a half years ago, I fell into the hospital. Three and, a, three and a half years ago, I fell into the hospital for, for my gallbladder, right? Because it, cause it, it was going to explode, right? It was one day I woke up and I, I was really, I was really um, in pain. Right. And my wife was always used to pain. So she was she knew I was always in pain. So she told me, she goes, take the take the pepto bismo, take the extra strength, take whatever you got to take. You know, you're going to be OK. You always get stomach problems because I mean, she got used to me having stomach problems. Right. And I remember that day like it was yesterday because she wanted to go to church. And I never I, I don't go to church as, I, as much as I should. But, you know, church is in my heart. Church is in my mind. Church is here, you know, wherever I'm at. And I remember one particular time where this happened. And I said, babe, call the ambulance. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I was falling down. I don't feel good. And she goes, oh, no, you, you go through this all the time. What did you eat? What did you eat yesterday? You know. And I did eat bad. Right. Well, I went into the hospital and they told me that I was type two diabetic. Oh, my God, I didn't want to hear this. I did not want to hear this. They had me. They put insulin in me. and I didn't want to hear this. Right. And this is something I was not ready to face. Why? Because I seen my dad go through it. I seen my dad lose his leg. I seen other friends get body parts amputated. I seen my sister. She still goes through it. I wish she would listen to me, but she still goes through it. And a lot of people still go through it. Right. Because of the sugar addiction. Right. So then what happened was I, I came home and I can share just a little bit. I can't share everything with you because it's on my book. But I came home and I, I, I was mad at God. I was mad at him. I, I was. I was like grinding my teeth because I was so mad. I said, God, why? Why are you? Why are you doing this to me? Why am I not? A, am I not enough sick by having to? Go to sleep sitting down because of my asthma? Am I not enough sick from all the high blood pressure that I have? Am I not enough sick from, from, from not wanting to wake up the next day? Am I not enough sick? And I would tell him this, and I would say this and say this, and I remember my, um, my kids were in the next room, my wife and my kids were in the next room, I remember I didn't want to do nothing. I want to stay. In, I want to stay in my room. I wanted to be dark and I want to stay in my room. I, that's where I wanted to be at. I didn't know what I was going to eat because they already had diagnosed me type two diabetic. They already told me all this what was going to happen. That I didn't have no hope. And when I was hearing my kids talking in the next room, they were just, uh, you know, telling my wife, you know, when's daddy going to come out? When's daddy going to come out the room? He's not playing with us or nothing like that. 
what's wrong with daddy? Is he got to go back to the hospital? And I found myself telling, you know, I told God, I said, you know, what I told you, I'm sorry. But if you help me, I don't know what I'm going to do when I walk out this room, but if you help me when I fall, I promise you, I promise you, I'm going to do so much. I promise you. So these te- <laughs> these tears right here, they're happy tears. Because now I've helped a lot of people. I continue helping people, whether it's on TikTok. I had somebody uh, hit me on TikTok. They live in uh, Fort Worth. And they said, man, you know what, Free? I lost 25 pounds and I feel so good. And, you know, they ordered from my bakery, um, which is sugaristhedevil.net. If you ain't seen my bakery, make sure you go check it out. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I ship out around the United States. And um, I help a lot of people out. My life has changed. My, my, my mind, at one time, it was a mindset because I thought I could only stay there. But now it's a growth mindset. So I keep on growing and, and everything, right? And I'm helping. The thing is I'm helping a lot of people, a lot of people out. And, and this, is, this is what, this is the promise, I guess, that I promised to God. Now, I did not know this was a calling. I did not know, you know, if you would have told me three and a half years ago, free, you're going to be helping a lot of people. Your shows are going to be having big impacts on people. And one day you're going to have a big show like Les Brown and all these other motivational speakers. I can honestly call myself a motivational speaker now. And that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Right. And I had to get there. I had to get there. So I had to break addiction because sugar is an addiction. So I had to break addiction. I had to believe in myself and I had to understand that God made us, made all of us with greatness. You know, sometimes we have everything it takes to break addiction. We have everything it takes to drop weight. We have everything it takes, but we don't believe in ourselves. We can say we believe in ourselves. Sometimes our ego is bigger than what we believe in. Our ego is so big sometimes. And we won't let our ego go. Right? We Sometimes we want to play this macho part. Oh, nobody could tell me what to do. You know, and Freak's not no doctor. Why am I going to listen to him? You know, I, I'm not a doctor. And, and I'm going to play some for y'all because... Attention, my advice is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health problems. I am not a doctor. I just show you what worked for me. Let's begin the show. And it worked for me. So I'm not a doctor. But what do doctors do? What do doctors do if you're diabetic? What do they do? First thing they do is give you metformin or some kind of type of pill, right? That's the first thing they do. And if you're diabetic right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right. And if you're not diabetic, but you know somebody's diabetic. Add them right now. Bring them to my show. Bring them to my show. Maybe we could help them. Maybe the other just yesterday I was over there at um at uh, J.C. Penney's. And the girl read my hat. She seen my hat. I forget about what hats I wear. I got, I, always, I got a lot of hats like this, and I forget. My hat says, sugar is the devil, keto is live TV. And she said, hey, my mom, she's diabetic. Can you help her out and everything? Oh, yes, yes, you know. And so I tell her all this, and sometimes what it is, sometimes when we feel that we got to go somewhere, go. Because sometimes God's trying to tell us, hey, go there. Like, for instance, I wasn't planning to go to J.C. Penney's. I was going to go to Coles. I was going to go to Coles, but something was telling me, you know what? Go to JCPenney's. I know it's it might sound crazy to you, but it's, it's weird how God puts people in position. Constantly puts people in position. So next time you feel that you got to go somewhere, go, go, because you're going to make the difference. Like right now, for instance, Thanksgiving's coming, right? And you're probably saying, man, what do I have to give thanks to? We had a terrible year. You know, 
The politics was crazy. We had so much. You, you, you think about everything that's wrong. We constantly think about everything that's wrong. We never give credit to what's right. Just the little bitty things that are making difference. You don't see those. We do not see those. We miss through those. We see, oh, my God, please take me out of 2020. Please take me out. But you don't see during the time 2020, you spend more time with your family. Because I did. I was teaching my kids. Was it hard? Yeah, it was hard. But I, I was bonding more with my children. You know, so try to get the best out of situations. Right. We always see things in a wrong way. And when you start looking at the picture for what it is. Then you could change it. If something ain't right, you could change it. But we always just we take life for granted. We take life for granted. You know, people never see. It's sad that people never see when people were there for them or what people did for them. Right. It's sad. You know, I've helped people and I'm just talking in general, but I help some people. And they've changed and their head gets big and they're showing pictures and pictures of how they look now. Do they mention me one time? Do they say thanks to coach? Thanks to my coach for helping me. And I'm not saying everyone because this is just very, you know, there's not a lot of people. But there has been some people. One girl, one girl, one girl deleted me from Facebook. She deleted me from Facebook. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? She, I understand, right? I understand if you're trying to give yourself credit. That's fine. But don't forget the people that went down in your journey. I remember her calling me all the time. We were talking all the time. And I was telling her, you know, she was, hey, free, can I eat this? Free, and send me pictures and everything like that. Everything. But don't get there. Don't get there. Don't get your head so big. You know, don't forget where you came from. People forget where they came from. You know, I've seen people get operations done and they forget where they came from. And then they gain the same weight back. Why? Because you still haven't learned how to eat. You still haven't learned how to eat. You know, there's so much that goes into keto. You know, right now there's people I could talk to. And again, their ego gets big. There's people that they call me and tell me, hey, free, I need your help. I heard that you could your keto coach. You could help people. And when you tell them a little bit, they want to run with it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't tell you the important stuff like constipation because you're going to get constipated if you don't get enough electrolytes, if you don't get enough magnesium, if you don't get enough this, if you don't get enough that. There's so much that goes into keto. But their ego, their big ego stops them from learning, from listening. You know, I listen every day. I wake up every day and I listen to Les Brown and I listen to other people motivational speakers right because i can only get better i can only become more stronger you know i can only become more super like they are right but sometimes we talk more than we want to listen you know we 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 continue talking more we think we know everything and we don't know everything we're at 39 minutes what's up y'all i hope y'all i hope y'all enjoying yourself man and this is I'm, this will be going to my youtube channel if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe to it i got a plenty of videos over there that can help you with your health with your mind with your soul with everything with your with your belief you know um so definitely go check it out keto is live tv i really appreciate y'all thank y'all so much man and I know this video was talking about the shocking truth about addiction, but it, it goes everywhere, guys. It goes everywhere. And, and I always see it. If I'm going to think about it, I'm going to tell you, right? Whether it's the show or not, I'm going to tell you about it, right? Especially if it's going to help you and stuff like that. Shout out to G-Man. What's up? Awesome DJ, man. Shout out to G-Man. So, guys, right now, if you have an addiction, whether it's smoking, whether it's drinking, whether it's porn, whether it's whatever it might be, whether it might whatever it might be, and you want to break it, you can. You can. And if you're doing so much sugar, 
deleted out your life. And if you did that, you're going to understand how more amazing you can live. And remember, I always put a scripture on here, so I forgot to put a scripture because I was running really late. And that's no excuse. But, you know, I'm sure if there was, I'm sure there's a lot of scriptures on it. And one of the scriptures you got to understand, if you want to beat an addiction, God will help you beat it. He will. He will. So, guys, appreciate y'all. Take care of yourself, man. Uh, remember, I do a lot of services. I, I do the DJing. I do the, the I help people with their businesses. I help people with their graphics, uh, logos, uh, DJ drops, everything. I do everything for the, by the blessing of God. Thank, thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. P guys, please take care of yourself. If I can help you, reach out to me. 832-715-2557. That's my number. 832-715-2557. If you're watching me on TikTok, please share. Uh, please let people know about my content and please follow. And thank you for following me. If you're watching me on Facebook, add me. Thank you so much. You can find me on Facebook under Gilbert Patino, P-A-T-I-N-O. Or you can find me under One Sugar is the Devil. So One Sugar is the Devil. You can find me on my Instagram at One Sugar is the Devil. And guys, if I can help you, I'll help you. Everybody have an awesome, awesome day. Until the next video, we, we, we'll talk later. All right, bye-bye. Take care of yourself. Sugar is the devil. Keto is life TV